Dead Space 3, we're on Hardcore Mode, Chapter 17, The Alien Ruins, Double A, Gamer for Life, Demented Priest. Okay, so uh, we just got through the artifact storage, went down there, dealt with it, got all the optional quests done now, and now we're ready to go work on finding Danik and taking him out. You see right there on the floor, they give you the symbols you need to put on your little display here. Okay, turn the generator on, that'll activate the gravity plates. Got a circuit floating out there. Looks like we got a bot spot back here. My buddy's like, you missed it. So I came back, put my bot down. Actually got a lift up. It can't get across that little crack there. Okay, so right there on the wall, they got the displays, the markings, like I was mentioning in the previous video, that uh, they start to distort one of them. So you kind of have to make a guess on your last one. There we go. Nothing too tough. Exiting zero gravity. All 
Alright, so we're finally making our way down to the machine here. And as always, uh, and take the time to save the game to your zip drive. Oh, God! Oh, what the... These discs on the floor, they, uh, they enhance our TK capacity, but fuck, man, they hurt! Thanks for the warning. What about stasis? What about it? Do you think it's enhanced, too? You try it and you let me know! Okay, on those shelves that I just passed, I believe there's a circuit up there. And we got a weapons part right there. My buddy's like, you can grab that circuit from up top. I'm like, I don't think so. Anyway, activate the generator. As you can see by my list of resources, I got plenty. Like I told him, I'm like, you can't get that circuit from up here, but when we go back down, we'll grab it. Alright, go ahead and activate the alien machine here. At least as soon as you walk Incredible, into this, uh, I call this the promenade. Audio One tape of the will many pop up. Straight to the heart of the machine. Without the codex, I can only speculate, but I suspect the machine needs to be opened for any changes to be made. I believe the monoliths on this plateau do just that. By standing on the special disc-shaped area on the floor, I've discovered I can use my kinesis module. Okay, you just move the little balls up in between the. The two hieroglyphics on the wall behind indicate that one configuration will open the Another the items there, you kind of follow the, the diagram on the wall behind us. I don't really know if it matters uh, which configuration you use. We just always did this configuration first. Did 
you see that? Yeah. What the hell just happened? This isn't a city. All of this is the machine. Okay, you're the engineer. How do we fix it? We'll follow Serrano's clues and reconfigure the machine. Look, we just opened a conduit to the heart of the city. If there's a control center for the Codex, that's where it'll be. Come on. There it is up there. Alright, gonna hit the bench, unload these circuits that we just picked up, or circuit. Then we're gonna take a little fly through the air here. I guess we're gonna go ahead and break the video before we take our first trip through the machine. Double A Gamer for Life, Demented Priest. Okay, hardcore on Dead Space 3. The best thing to do is to save the game to a zip drive at the end of every chapter or any place that you think you may die. Uh, you want to just go back to the dashboard, go under si system settings, to storage, go to your hard drive, go under the game, Dead Space 3, you'll see the slot for hardcore. And just save it over to the zip drive. Now, if you happen to die, what you do is you go back to the dashboard, you go into your hard drive, and you delete that one save spot, and then go to your zip drive and copy it back to your hard drive, and then you're golden. So basically what you're seeing here is to save it to your zip drive. If you do die, you just reverse the process to put the game back on your hard drive, and you're good. So uh, don't sweat the hardcore, just follow this step, and if you die, just do that.